What's up, Lashinistas? Welcome to the show. This is the Live Bay Podcast, where we talk about the ever-growing eyelash business. If this is your first time listening to our show, welcome. This podcast is dedicated to helping you grow as a lash artist and or lash business owner. So whether you work for yourself or someone else, this podcast is for you. Hey guys, this is Mike and Shauna Jones. We are the owners of Live Bay Lash. <laughs> our heart is to share with you our uphill battle in this lash industry and to show you what started out of a tiny bedroom in our house, extremely broke, has turned into an eight figure company. We are here to encourage you during your last journey and to give you guys a real wild version of what things really like. Yeah, in today's episode, we're gonna be giving you guys, uh, sorry. <laughs> Some sorry. tips from lashing from home. Uh, n- yes, tips on lashing from home. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, We're all over. That's my train of thought. Uh, Before we jump into that, we do have some announcements. So, a couple things. Number one, uh, our classes are getting canceled, not on our doing, but uh, by the states. And so, we've got a couple makeup dates. So, I know that we had to make up San Diego and make up Denver. Uh, The Phoenix class is still on here in December. The Vegas class is still on. Uh, We're going to be in Houston in January, Tampa in January, Atlanta in January, Nashville in January. Just check uh, Live Bay classes for all the upcoming dates. You can go out and see them. But if for some reason the state calls us and they shut the class down, we will be doing that makeup day as soon as they give us the green light. So if it's two weeks, four weeks, whatever it is, just know we're still going to come back there and do them. It doesn't matter if we have to go back to back to back. Yeah. We will be there, I promise. And you guys do have the ability to switch. So if like you feel comfortable traveling and you want to go to a different state, if you want to take the VR class, you guys are welcome to do that as well. So there's different things that we can shuffle around. That's a great point. Um, oh. You know, obviously, like I know that there's been some issues with like refunds and stuff like that, but our classes um, – aren't refundable but you can move your deposit to another class it's tough for us because like on a business side of you like we set everything up we purchase all the items we get all the kits ready so i understand that you know COVID is just like crazy it's hit everybody in different ways but we are still a business but we are happy to work with you to move you to get you set up with the vr which is an amazing class as well it's an amazing option um so yeah you can san diego and denver peeps you guys should go to phoenix they're still gonna have it yeah. Phoenix is super cheap. You can get a cheap flight and cheap room there. They're yeah. going to give us like crazy discounted rooms. Yeah. It'll be good. Yeah. Be a nice little vacation. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. COVID vacation. Uh, COVID vacation. Uh, we still do have our online courses. Basically, it's livebaycourses.com. We do two free tutorials a month. We do a free gift every month, 20% off your product purchases. And we go live two times a month, have a mastermind session. Um, really- you have access to Mike and I too. It's like a mentorship and it's 99 a month, no contract. So if you are, you know, ready to take your business to the next level, we're the people to do that, obviously. So yeah. LibBayCourses.com. I'm trying to get access to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My wife looks really good in plaid today. <laughs> you do too. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It looks like a picnic table. <laughs> All right. So that's everything, right? Yep. Jumping into the episode. So some practical tips for lashing from home. Take it away, Shauna Bear. Yeah, I got this idea from the Facebook groups, which I love. Like I, well, I love our Facebook group. There's so many things that I read in there and I think it's good to talk about it because it's it's always a topic of conversation when people work from home. Like, especially now with COVID going on, you either have people that do not want to work from home because they don't want to bring people into their home due to, you know, uh, COVID going on, obviously. They were going to say cockroaches. Cockroaches too, that might be an issue for sure for clients. But um, <laughs> so they're either like trying to veer away from that because they don't want to, you know, bring people in or they're, you know, like, hey, it's, you know, it doesn't make sense for me to pay rent right now. I can't afford it or whatever. And they want to save some money and bring people into their home. Um, people are having issues with like animals. They're having issues with like their kids and their family there. Like when I used to do lashes from home, we had what, five dogs? Four. We had four dogs. So I always had an issue because like we didn't have kids at that time. But anytime anybody would ever like knock on the door, I would always be like, hey, just text me when you're outside. But anytime anybody would knock on the door, there'd be like five dogs at the door. And I'd always be so embarrassed. I'd be like, oh, my God, they're going to think this is like the SPCA. But um, just we just want to give some practical tips on things that you can do. You know, if you're um, experiencing issues with lashing from home with your kids, with your with anything, Um if you're doing it legally, you there's some states that require like a separate entrance. And let me just tell you, if you if you're not doing it legally anyways, just don't even bother like doing construction on your home. Like there's some people that are literally like, you know, they're not licensed, they're not doing it the proper way, but they're like trying to like still do state board requirements and it's like it's illegal either way. Yeah. So just stop, like save your money. Like if you're going to like sling lashes without 
proper licensing and permits and stuff like that, then just just don't try and like. You can put lipstick on that turd, but it's still a turd. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But um, I do think that like separate entrances, like if you do have a home that has like a room with like a separate entrance or whatever, I think that's amazing if you can lash from that because you're not going to have someone like going through, you know, your kitchen and your living room and, you know, seeing your kids friggin' right on the walls and your dogs and all that fun stuff. So if there's a way that you have a separate entrance, I would for sure say do that. Like if, if you can set that up that way. You know, a lot of places are closing down and it's not, it's not anybody's fault. You know what I mean? I, we, we've watched the press conferences here, here a few times and held our breath thinking this fool is going to shut us down again. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and so, and, and if you listen to the verbiage, you know, it's, it's being kicked around. Like it's, it's on the tip of his tongue. He's just trying to work with us because our, our town's pretty much only propped up on one end of the streets, which is entertainment. That's why people come to Vegas. But if that thing's shut down, there's not a lot of other options. So I know like places like in LA and stuff where they're back going back into a lockdown, that means salons are closing too. So I want you guys to just hear me out for a second before the Karens come out with their switchblades ready to put me in check. Okay. If you have to lash from home right now because your salon is closed, you shouldn't be getting judged for it. Okay. There's, there's no judgment when it comes to providing for your family or feeding your family. All right. This is a judgment-free zone. This, this whole channel is set up to offer encouragement, support, and tips, not to like tell you or scold you what you're doing wrong. So if you have to lash from home because you have no other option, I think it's a great option. My wife used to do it. I'm all for it. You just got to go the extra mile to make sure you're protecting yourself and protecting your family. Just know that. But there's nothing wrong with it. And I'll never forget, during the shutdown the first time back in March, Sean and I would go to our salons and just clean them and take a look and just kind of make sure nothing was broken into and just, you know, see how things were going. And I'll never forget our plaza was dark because everything was shut down, but there's a nail place a few doors down. I'm not going to say their name. Uh, they had people park over at the doctor's office, the OBGYN clinic, a few places over, walk over and then had a secret, like secret <laughs> knock on the door and they would open, they had blacked out windows and they would look around and let people in to get their nails done. And I was thinking, good for them. You know what I mean? Like, not like, oh no, you know, there's a hotline to dime your neighbor out. Like it was like, you know what? This is somebody who's trying to make money, trying to pay their rent, trying to keep their business afloat. And so if you got bills and stuff and, and your only option is to take clients at home, then so be it. God bless you. But just make sure you're setting up things like, you know, hand sanitizer at the door. Be ready to check temperatures. Rectally, no, I'm kidding. Be ready to check <laughs> temperatures. You know what I mean? With a little, little digital thermometer. Make sure you have either a massage table or a chair with like a pleather or leather type finish you can take you know your wipes and wipe it down not just with barbicide but you know with alcohol and, and really disinfect really get in there i would recommend getting those dental bibs that you can put over the chair to put your stuff on your tools on you know what i mean make sure you're wearing a shield make sure they have a mask you have a mask just go the extra mile just treat it like if you were in the salon and it, you don't have it like you can't be afraid i know we're all afraid we've all been living in fear this whole year but you can't be afraid you know what i mean if you're going to sack up and make that decision like you're going to do it from home it's no different than if those people were coming into the salon you're still in close proximity the only difference is you're bringing it into your house now so you have to make sure you're just like I said aerosoling cleaning disinfecting bleaching mm -hmm. going the extra mile but as far as like doing it from home you're gonna no like no condemnation no argument no anything for me on it because i understand what it's like to try and have to survive yeah. Especially in a, in a time like this where you got to feed the family and take care. So just know if you, I feel like if you put those extra layers in, you'll be okay. You know what I mean? The only people that are really going to dime you out are the ones who are jealous because they are not doing it as well and you're getting clients and yeah. making some money. They're thinking about it though. Don't worry. They're thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's like literally no judgment with that because I mean, my husband has been saying it for a while now. This is literally like the year of survival. So whatever you have to do and like that, like what Mike was talking telling the story about like the nail place we were like okay we i pretty much can calculate how much her commercial rent is so you have to do what you have to do and like she has kids she's a single mom yeah and so i like would never dime her out like i that's not my business number one but like you know do whatever you have to do but um you know depending on like where you live if you live in an apartment you know if you live like in a studio apartment like i grew up in like a studio apartment like there's things that you can do to kind of protect yourself a little bit more you can go to like Hobby Lobby or Ross, I don't even know if they'd be open in wherever you are, but like they have like the little divider, like the room divider things. The Asian ones? 
Yeah, like they have like them at the, the fan fold out. Kinda. The fan fold out. Yeah, they have them in a lot of like the um, the massage parlors and stuff like that. Oh but yeah, like, yeah. You yeah. can. We have one at the boutique, so you can get one of those. You know, depending on like if you know you're in an open room or something, to just kind of make it like a little bit more private. Um, if you have kids, you can play like you know soft music um, a little bit louder, uh, just because like you know if I would if let's say I were to be lashing at home, like oh my gosh, like. With people, our would kids be, and dogs. people would not be relaxed. They'd be like, I need a fucking Xanax. Your house is nuts. Like, so you can always play the music a little bit louder. I need a Xanax. That's how nuts <laughs> yeah. I think it is. So you can play the music a little bit louder. You can, you know, um, decorate your room the best you can, like pull stuff from the salon and move it to your house, make it cute and cozy. Um, maybe like stuff your husband and your kids like in a room, like on the farther end of the house, maybe kennel your dog or put your dogs away. Have your husband take the kids to see Christmas lights. Yeah. Or do something, but you can, you can make it happen and you can make it as convenient as possible for your clients. I would just make sure for sure, especially with COVID going on. And I've been like drilling this with everyone who works for us, even here at the warehouse, like constantly be wiping down like doorknobs. It's like, yeah, you can get COVID from like the interaction of someone too but like you have to keep in mind too like every single thing they're touching so if someone's coming to your home and they're you know opening the door like you want to be getting like cleaning like doorknobs like i've been telling everybody this like doorknobs you know um also if you are going to decide to lash from your house maybe not offer like the restroom you know because if that's a restroom that your whole family uses that's just one other part of your home that you're going to have to like completely disinfect i mean it, those you can go about it however you want but you can definitely make it happen um you just want to be like above and beyond with like sanitation cuz it's just scary right now it's such such a crazy crazy time it's like insane don't be afraid to lower your prices a little bit too you know what I mean? Like yeah, because your overhead is like your overhead's nothing. nothing. You're not paying. I mean, you're paying your home rent or your yeah. home mortgage. But I would definitely lower the prices a little bit to be more accommodating. Mm -hmm. I think if you do that right now, you'll get more clients. So it'll feel a little bit safer, you know, to come to your house. Um, I want you to too, to think like this: change your change your school of thought. I know a lot of you are like, Ugh, isn't that weird? People coming to my house, like, won't they be weird? It's it's only weird if you make it weird. Yeah. Like if you're like, hey you want to come to my house? It's kind of weird, right? And they're like, oh, yeah, it's kind of weird, right? But if you're like, hey, tell you what, let's do it at my house. Well, I'll knock some money off. You know, everything's disinfected and safe. I got everything partitioned off. You know, just I'll, I'll cut you a break on the price and it'll be very, very comfortable, very safe environment for you. Mm -hmm. Nod your head and, and say it that way. And they're going to go, oh, okay. And in their head, they're thinking they don't have to believe you. They just have to believe that you believe you. You know what I mean? <laughs> so if you're like, hey, it's totally safe and this is what we're going to do, they're going to be like, okay. And they feel like it. If, if you have any doubt or waiver in your voice, they're going to feel that. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to give a little bit of a discount with that, you know, doing from home. You know, it's it's just a mindset. It's all you're changing. And this is just a way to survive right now to get through, you know, this time. You know, soon things will go back to normal. I mean, still to this day, like my wife, there's a lady that she goes and gets her facials from over in Green Valley here. And like half the girls in our salons go to her, Terry. She like does them out of the house. She's like a home uh, spa set up with like plants and tranquil music and like it's like so zen i mean i've gone for one before and i was just like man i don't know why <laughs> but i feel like so peaceful when i leave here she's like hold on like ding these little she finger symbols and yeah. like this hippie one, oh, do, 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 <laughs> talking about and like it's the first time i've ever watched grass grow and enjoyed it like it's just so <laughs> tranquil and peaceful there so she does it out of her house and it's not even with covid people aren't like oh i'm not going over there like it's people know it's the home spa set up it's comfortable it's clean she sterilizes it like it's not going to change people from wanting to come over. I promise. Now, if you if you got like a house where people come in, there's like a chalk outline on the ground. There's some coke and a firearm in the in the corner. Yeah, it might be a different story. It might be a different story. But yeah. if your home is like it's cozy, it feels homey, it smells good, you're taking the the safety precautions to clean it. People are going to feel just as comfortable coming there as they would go into a salon. Yeah, I'd even argue maybe even more comfortable if you're got a terry type set up with all the flute music and stuff yeah i know i love i love 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 terry but i mean i originally went for the discount because she works at another really expensive spa and i was just like oh i'm not paying those prices and she's like just come to my house and then she told me the price and i was like okay sold and now i just love it but now she still spends as much as buying products yeah, she sells products too. She got me there. But um, yeah. yeah. Of course, I need some Epicure and special wax for my nose. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I was going to say too, like the way you can present it is like, hey guys, like, you know, I care about my clients. I understand everything's going on. So this is just like temporarily, I am, you know, inviting clients over to my house. Um, I know a lot of people get weird about like new clients and giving out their address. Um, there's been a lot of like, 
I, I would say arguments, like people talking about like, hey, like I feel so weird giving my address out. Like, can I just give it to them like a couple minutes like before their appointment or something like that? And it's like, if that's how you feel, then maybe you shouldn't be lashing from home um, because if you're already acting weird about it, just like Mike said, like people are going to get that vibe and it's just going to be like super off. So if you already have like clientele, you already have regulars, um, I would just say, hey, this is just temporary, you know, a temporary thing. And I want to invite you over to my house at a discounted price. I'll take care of you. Everything's like like, you know, sanitized and all that yeah. fun stuff. I'll never forget when we were in Ohio, when Shauna was hustling lashes as a side hustle, there used to be this uh, girl over at Akron U who would call Shauna to come to her we lashes. We always talk about this. I know. So we would take we would take our old Jeep over there. i get the massage table out of the, the trunk. big old lamp. Lamp. Take it all in, set it up. And like the dude would sit in the room, the yeah. boyfriend. And just stare. And just stare and, stare and like and smoke was, cigarettes and like There was watch. no music. And I was just like, okay, this is like a Lifetime movie. I am going to get like sawed in half. Like, I don't know if he likes like this view. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh. But I was like, dude, I need 60 bucks. So if you just want to watch me do lashes, <laughs> yeah, my husband thing. is like a phone call away. He will come up here and whoop your ass. Yeah, I'm in so the parking was, lot watching Netflix. Yeah, he'd be downstairs. We would just feel like, I'm like, oh, $60, $60. Just hurry the fuck up. Get me out of here. I mean, that was a little weird. I was really, That was a weird setup. Yeah. I was really risking it for us, huh? He was, just, he was like, yeah, do it. 60 bucks. I'll be in the car. See ya. I'm, I'm like, like a pimp. It really yeah. good. Coast is clear. Okay, cool. I'll be outside. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, the shit I would do. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Listen, you got to do what you got to do right now. You know, if you're willing to not have any money and you're going to sit around and just cross your fingers and hold your breath for another stimulus package that nobody can seem to agree on and, you know, trust that the government's going to bail you out, you're in for some tough sliding here. Yeah. Nobody's agreeing on anything and right that's, now. That's not the mindset to have anyways in life. Yeah. You know what I mean? We got like it's Darwinism, adapt or die, right? Just you got to figure this thing out. Do what you got to do while things are like this. I promise you, you'll come out on the other side. You'll still retain your clients, maybe even pick up some new ones. Yeah. You treat this thing like a drug business, right? Mm -hmm. You only let people come over that's a referral of someone you know that you're selling those drugs to. Mm -hmm. It's probably a bad analogy. Always but, is. Yeah. But listen, at the end of the day, like if you're referring, if Shauna was coming to me and I'm like, you know, hey, do you have anybody else you can send? She's like, yeah, my best friend, Kate. You know, Kate and I work together. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I already know Kate works with Shauna. It's her best friend. She put that title, best friend. So I know she's safe. She can come over and I don't feel weird about giving my address because she's already told Kate it's out of my house. So those are the best type of referrals you can pick up right now too. Don't be trying to do like a bunch of Craigslist ads and everything else. That's when yeah, it'll that probably get a little creepy, weird. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all we got for you guys. Sorry. I don't know where I went with that, but <laughs> my ADD kicked in. Squirrel, right? Uh, it's, it, as always, we grow this thing as a movement. So if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the podcast. Refer a friend, someone that could you know, possibly grow or get better or just benefit from some of this free information we give you. Uh, until then, we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you. Thank you.